welcome to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name is Julia. Make sure to click the links in the description so you can learn more about the channel and what we do here. So today, I'm actually um, gonna tell you guys how to get, um, how to reach, how to, what I did, how to reach 200 subscribers in a little bit of some time. So um, yeah, 200 subscribers is not a big milestone, but you know, I'm grateful and it's a lot to me, but it might not be a lot to you and but if you really want to reach this milestone make sure you stay tuned so the first step on this milestone is i did not compare myself to other youtubers why why this is so important is because you can get super duper and be like oh no oh no why are these people growing and why am my channel not growing because believe it or not my channel was stuck at 10 subscribers for at least three months yes i said three months so please don't get discouraged my like just to let you know my channel was stuck for a small milestone for a lot of time because i was comparing myself to others and it did not work out so please don't do that another step to become a successful roblox youtuber is to have patience you have to know that youtube does not take um a little bit of time it actually takes a lot of time and if you are not willing to put in that time honestly i don't think you should become a youtuber or you should find another hobby because honestly just like it's like if you like think it's gonna happen in a certain amount of time and if you don't pass the amount of time without doing anything about it you could get really discouraged and just quit youtube all at once so another tip on how to become a really successful youtuber is to have your titles titles are super duper important and they and they kind of or the second people the second the second thing people see when they click on your video or when they decide to click on your video so make sure you have um some nice intriguing titles that will actually make um make them want to click on them Another thing is to talking about titles, you do also do not want to clickbait. Clickbait means that you are actually saying something that is not true in your titles and thumbnail, and you're just saying that just so you could get views. And all of the comments, and if you clickbait, all of the comments and there almost will be like really, really bad and mean just because you told people a lie, and you don't not want to be known for. A, for clickbaiting so please don't do that another really nice important thing to keep in mind is tags tags are basically with many ranking tools that help you rank up in search so if you want to know some cool um tag um tag websites one are um one of those websites are called um are called tubebuddy you could use this website to generate um tags and it'll tell you like how like how good or how bad are the tags are i'm gonna link tubebuddy in the description i'm not it's not sponsored for this video today but it's just a really cool help Another tip is to edit your YouTube videos. If you are new and you do not know what editing means, editing means is just to put like to split edits and add text to all of your clips in your YouTube video. And that's just because you want to do this because so your viewers won't get bored. And if it's just a lot of unedited spaces in your video, it could unattract viewers and lead them to clicking off your video. Another tip is to never, ever, ever use sub for sub. Sub for sub is basically a cool, not a cool, but it's a bad method that people use if they're really desperate for subscribers. So it's like, you sub me and I'll sub back and I don't want to have nothing to do with your content. It's really a bad method because if you if you have any sub for sub comments in your YouTube videos or if YouTube sees that you're interacting them with them in any other YouTube video comments comment sections they're going to ban your channel that's right I said that ban your channel so please don't take any of the chances so so just please be safe and do not suffer that 
another cool tip is to um is to add thumbnails to your videos thumbnails are just really cool helps and they kind of just see like the, it's the first person um it's the first thing people see once they click on your youtube video so you really want to have thumbnails and thumbnails really help a lot so um yeah some websites um, will be linked in the description how to make your own custom thumbnails. Okay guys, so I said plenty, plenty, plenty of cool, cool methods to help you have an accessible YouTube channel. But here is another tip to help you. All you have to do here is to have fun making YouTube videos. What I mean by this is you need to enjoy making YouTube videos. This means by just, you don't want to be making YouTube videos just for the money. You want to be making it just because you enjoy, you actually enjoy making YouTube videos for your audience and you expect, and you like expect to have more fun and interact with your audience, not just because of the money. Like if you are depressed of making YouTube videos, I don't think YouTube is for you. So please find a hobby that's for you. you YouTube is not for everyone, so just, it's fine just find something that's that, like a ho another hobby that's for you the last but not least tip is to most of all interact with your audience i mean what i mean by interacting with your audience is that all you have to do is like once you once someone comments on your youtube video make sure to show appreciation of that comment make sure to like to respond back in a well thought of comment that will that will let them know that you actually care ab about their subscription and they're gonna stay on but this, but do not take this the wrong way, because guess what? You could also just heart their comment, and many people will feel really, really happy if you just simply heart or like their comment. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. It means super duper a lot to me. If these YouTube tips came any handy to you, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and stay tuned because I'm gonna because my next video will be helpful YouTube video ideas that can help you brainstorm some ideas for your YouTube channel. Thank you and bye.